Hey guys, Jonathan Wilson here for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show. How's it going? So, it is that time of year again that we talk about NFL picks and college football picks, as both those seasons are very fastly approaching. Of course, we're already in the NFL preseason, and college football right around the corner, uh, just a week away from tomorrow at the time I'm recording this, is... The, uh, the first set of games, so I just kind of want to talk about how uh, I'm going to handle that this year. And it, it's mostly going to be the same, especially in the NFL. College, uh, I'm going to switch up just a tick, uh, but not a whole lot. Uh, I'm going through kind of like the same problem I did last year. I'm not quite sure if I want to pick against the spread or if I want to... Uh, go straight up for for both uh, leagues. I think in the NCAA, I think if I were to pick against the spread, I would pick only the top 25 against the spread because I'm going to continue to pick all the NCAA football games that I normally do. But that's just too many to do spread. That's too many to uh, keep track of spreads. It's hard enough keeping track of winners um, for that stuff. So i um, just going to keep it that way. I think for that, but like I said, I might do top 25 for college football. Not sure yet. I wouldn't hold my breath on that. But if you guys would like to see me pick against the spread for college football or for the NFL, go ahead and let me know. Uh, let me go and let me know what you guys think, and um, I'll be happy to listen to any suggestions and and try to incorporate stuff. And speaking of incorporating, when it comes to the college football side, there's one thing I've done on the NFL side in years past. That I'm gonna bring over to the college football side, and that is what I'm going to call a lock of the week, a game that I can pretty much put a guarantee on that I'm going to get it right. We'll keep track of how I do that and how I do in that time. However, I am setting a rule for myself for the lock of the weeks, and that is no cupcake games. Okay, like for example, uh, I am not going to be picking a game like Alabama against McNeese State. Okay, that, that one's too easy. So, no cupcake games. So, I already know which game, I think I already know which game I'm going to pick for week one, but you guys will have to wait. Now, here's the interesting part. Uh, the part that's going to be different for you guys is I'm not going to necessarily make it a Saturday game, and it, sometimes... I may throw in multiple locks of the week. So you guys will have to check out all the videos, the Thursday videos, the Friday videos, and the Saturday videos, and the Tuesday videos when we get to that point in the year and see if maybe I have a lock in there. So you never know when I might throw a lock out there. Not that it really means that much to you, but if you're that interested in seeing how I do with my lock of the week, I'll have to check that stuff out, and once in a while maybe I'll throw a couple extra locks in there. So... And as far as the schedule goes, as far as how all of that will be recorded, it's going to mostly be how it has been for as long as I can remember it being. And that is, the Thursday college football games will be available on Thursday, usually Thursday afternoon. And then the Friday games will be available shortly after the Thursday games have concluded and the record has been updated. And the same thing goes for the Saturdays. When the Friday games are concluded, I will update the record and then get going on Saturday's picks as well. And then that video will be out to you guys. So that is how we handle college football, a sport that we have done uh, very, very well in in years past. And in fact, just give me a second here and I will get you guys a record for that. In the regular season last year, we went 605 wins, 207 losses. We are 4,063 wins, 1,352 losses is our lifetime record there. So exciting stuff there. Can't wait to get back to college football. There's some interesting matchups at times this year, including in the first week of the season. Now, as far as the NFL goes and how we are going to pick that, same thing goes there. As far as the NFL, the Thursday game will be available probably Thursday afternoon. And then on a Friday is when the NFL picks are going to be available, depending on which way I do them. Okay, if I, there's one of two ways I can do them, and normally I always end up getting frustrated and doing them the other way. I can do them one of two ways. I can either do individual games, 
and then if there's a game you guys want to see specifically for your team or your rival or whatever the case may be, go ahead and check that out. Or what I'll do is I'll do something like this. Where I'll talk about a game, make a pick, and then I will make a little, we'll call it an edit, but it's not really an edit. I will do this, and then I will come back to the next game and do it that way. That does make for a longer video, more difficult uploading time, and with the way my... Uh, webcam and technology work that doesn't that sometimes can work against me but I'm gonna I prefer to do it that way it's a little easier to do it that way so that's probably how we're gonna start it but when I do it that way I do put down in the description of the video the time that each game starts at so for example like if I start a game if I start talking about the Patriot Dolphin game at two minutes and five seconds you will see uh, Patriots Dolphins and then a link to click the 205 will take you to that point in the video so you can go to whichever game you are interested in. So there you go. That's how we're going to handle that. Excited to do college football stuff and excited to do NFL stuff and going to be doing some baseball too. I know I keep saying that but I will do some baseball here as we get down the stretch and probably some other stuff too. Throw some stuff in there and make some more videos and having fun making content again so we will continue to do that and hopefully continue to have fun with it again and my favorite time of year as far as sports goes anyway not necessarily seasonal check local listings but as far as sports goes my favorite time of the year is coming up so super pumped for that don't forget to like the jam sports show page on facebook and follow us on twitter links as always are down in the description so go ahead and check those out and until next time, I am Jonathan Lizette for Jam Sports and Heart of the Jam Sports Show. And I will see you guys later.